it's the maid's night off, so I'm having to wash the dishes tonight. You know, the, as for the wife and kids routine, all I can say is it's the conventional uh, thing to do. It's what most people are doing. I think a lot of people don't even think about it. They just assume that's what they're supposed to do. Now, in my case, I had a particularly dysfunctional childhood. Uh, so much so that I came out of it with a desperate need to make sure that I didn't live my father's life. And my father was a very miserable man. He did not enjoy the wife and kids routine. Uh, what was weird about it was he kept getting married and he kept having kids even though he wasn't into it. I mean, he stopped being a dad to me in middle school. And... Uh, you know, uh, his first wife didn't work out. He got with another woman right away. That was that was a, a one-night stand that turned into 20-year marriage, toxic marriage. And then, uh, and then they split. And then a year and a half later, they get together again, and then they split again. And it was just, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of it. Now, in my own case, I had no idea that I was going to be single my whole life. There was just no way for me to know that I was going to be so hopelessly bad at relationships. Of course, now I can't say that I'm bad at it. It just doesn't happen. You know, every time I see a woman that I like, I check her hand to see if there's a wedding ring on it, and there always is. And I, So I just leave them alone. I go, well, I ain't, I'm not messing with that one. So, uh, you know, I, you know I, I, I can't... I can't understand it, because um, I know I, I know men and women that when when a partner doesn't work out, they just get another one quickly. I know one chick who has been married four times, and she's only a couple years older than me. When a husband dies, she just gets another husband. I know a guy in the same fellowship. He's been married four times. His wife died, uh, and he just got another woman within two seconds. I don't know, I, I, I can't speak to that. I, I don't understand it because it, it was never like that for me, ever. You know, my love life was a fucking disaster. It started that way, it continued that way, and then one day it was just non-existent. And, you know, I would ask girls on a date, they would say no, they would ghost me, they would block my number, and nothing had even happened. I'm like, what's going on? So, uh, it just ain't God's will for me. Uh, I saw the same romance movies that everybody saw. So this is love, da 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 da. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the sacred marriage. I read my Joseph Campbell. I'm gonna get the sacred marriage and ride off into the sunset. It didn't happen for me. It happened for you. It happened for them. It didn't happen for me. It didn't happen for my dad. It didn't happen to other members of my family. We didn't get the breaks. I don't know if it was God protecting me or if it's a joke, if I'm being punished, if I'm being cursed, if I'm being made fun of. I don't know. All I know is, you know, somehow or another, I ended up with this quiet monk like I'm not a, I'm not religious, but I live like a monk. You know, it's just a quiet, unassuming existence where very little happens. People say, how was your day? I say, I don't know. Nothing happened. I guess it was OK. Nothing, nothing ever happens. And if this is God's way of keeping me out of trouble, I guess that's fine. It's not the way I would have chose it. I mean, I, I you know, if it were up to me, I'd, I'd be doing some awesome shit. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how to make sense of it.